my students this is dr badrinath uh, today's topic is uh, expectorants and anti tussives appeared several times in regular examinations as well as in the competition examination okay see there is a two types of coughs cough dry cough wet cough okay right so wet cough we are using expectorants keep in your mind wet cough i will tell you the techniques how to remember all these things for wet cough only we are using the expectorants for dry cough we are using the anti tussives okay all these techniques i will tell you don't worry uh, yeah this is one of the question appeared in uh, drug inspectors examination entrance examination dextromethorphan for which cough we are using okay dry cough dextromethorphan widely used in the strepsils okay strepsils if strepsils content is dextromethorphan d d dextromethorphan for dry cough like that you can remember all these things see here dry d here also d okay like that with simple techniques we will uh, try to uh, remember all these things so we will know everything about the cough today in this video right and this is my youtube channel for matrix for exams and this is my mobile app you can be download to see all my notes all my content okay you can be download from the google play store okay after opening the app you can open the app and uh, this is also 99% free after opening app go for here store option okay store here it will be there in the store option there you can be find all my courses what i am offering at nominal cost only i am offering like b pharmacy course all subjects form b all subjects m pharmacy all subjects okay i will keep on uploading all the topic contents also no don't worry right okay so you download it immediately you go you can be purchase it it is per year only that is nominal cost very nominal cost that's why 99% free yeah what is a cough cough is also called as a tussis tussis that's why we are calling the word anti tussives there anti tussives expectorants tussives means cough what is the definition you have to write in the exam a rapid expulsion of the air from the lungs okay typically in order to clear the lung airways of a fluids mucosa other medic anything is went to do immediately we will get a sneezing as well as a cough so our body will not tolerate that type of agent so immediately it will be, so it is a body protection mechanism it is nothing but rapid expulsion of air from the lungs body protection mechanism all this is also called as a tussis like that you have to write in the examination yeah cough is a two types dry cough also called as a tickly cough tickly tickly cough it is also called as a non productive cough why we are calling as a non productive means here there is no sneezy sneezy like this sneezy will not come here that's why we are calling as a dry this is a wet wet cough this is also called as a chesty this is a tickly this is a chesty cough this is a productive why we are calling as a productive means here the mucus will be produced and it will be come outside through the mouth and through the nose okay we need a handkerchief here here we don't need the handkerchief because it is a dry cough just knee elbow knee is more than enough to okay to manage your cough here you need a kerchief so uh, trick is a expect we have to use only expectorants here we have to use anti tussives here in the dry cough expectorants expect the fluid here that is a trick expect the fluid that's why we are using expectorant see here expectorant here fluid will come so whenever fluid will come we can expect use expectorants okay wet cough other name chesty cough productive cough cough up uh, it coughs up the mucus mucus will become heezing like that heezing chest tightness that's why this is called a chesty chest tightness will be there difficult in the breathing that's why we are calling as a chest it is problem related to chest whereas here dry cough persistent cough persistent or uh, consistent will constant will be take regularly it comes dry cough okay 2 minutes once 2 minutes or 1 minute once it is a sensitive throat your throat will become very sensitive throat see here tickly throat it stands for t 
this is also t sensitive throat throat problem that's why a t t matching like that you can remember neo mucus is expelled since it is a dry cough mucus film it is also called as a hacking hacking right okay so in this case you have to use a anti tussives in this case you have to use a expectorant so what are these expectorant what are the anti tissue that we are going to be see now <clears throat> yeah expectorants are two types mucolytics which cuts the mucus mucolytics mucus lytics cuts the mucus because it is a see mucolytics don't use in the dry cough because mucolytic cuts the mucus whereas in dry cough there is no mucus at all okay and the stimulants that is also we can see it stimulates the mucus to produce more and more and so that the entire mucus will be eliminated from from your nose and from your mouth okay and these are all called as a pharyngeal demulcent because uh, i have already told tussives uh, tickly tickly i told throat so your throat will become a rough here i will tell you how to the tricks how to remember pharyngeal demulcents you keep in your mind pharyngeal demulcents opioids anti histamine 1 2 3 here 2 3 1 2 okay so totally 1 2 3 4 5 concepts are there that we will see right now this is the most common problem so whenever your friends will ask you should be ready to prescribe that first one pharyngeal demulcent so it comes here where here pharyngeal demulcent it comes in the anti tussives so pharyngeal demulcents it is a uh, for using for the dry cough okay uh, here i have already told you tickly your throat will become inflamed rough irritated see all the words it becomes rough gontulo kichkich we are calling as a kichkich in the ad it is coming okay uh, so this is called as a roughness roughness inflammation irritation so whenever there was a rough inflammation irritation it gives the impulse to the central nervous system something is there so you go for coughing like that it gives a signals to the central nervous system afferent impulse so for that purpose since uh, uh, what we have to do we have to use a smoothness pharyngeal demulcents demulcents just like emulsion smooth very smooth that's why this is also called as a smoothness this bit also number of times it was appeared smoothness okay we are using this one liquorice lozenges cough drops we are using all these thing to become a smoothness okay see here cough drops cough drops menthol actually sp balasubramaniam singer famous singer is used to take the vicks regularly uh, but unfortunately uh, that is no lozenges like here you can see lozenges all these are the whenever you can feel the roughness here or pain here inflammation is there then you can use the lozenges or cough drops menthol or liquorice this is also syrup is available liquorice this is actually ayurvedic plant liquorice root just like a liquid rice liquorice see here liquid rice like that you can remember liquid rice so that your liquid rice will become a smoothness here so whenever there was a smoothness so automatically Uh, there was a no signal to the this will become a smooth so that there is no signal to the apparent impulse like that you can remember next is opioids this is also used for the dry cough only opioids just like a codeine fall codeine okay codi codi in telugu codi means a hen codi pakodi fall codeine ethyl morphine ethyl morphine see here all this that's why these are called as opioid the name itself indicate all these are the uh, drugs addiction drugs codeine fall codeine ethyl morphine nescaffeine just like a nescafe nescaffeine okay these are the non opioids opioids non opioids opioids codeine fall codeine ethyl morphine just like here you can see codeine codeine ethyl morphine see here ethyl morphine okay ethyl morphine and uh, 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 dextromethorphan okay this comes under non opioid here we saw dextromethorphan d stands for dry cough i have already told you dextrose like that you can remember nescaffeine okay uh, here you can see nescaffeine nescaffeine see here nescaffeine okay like that you can remember with the help of a simple images and a trick you can be download my app and you can see all my contents all my presentation it is nothing but a notes 
anti histamine next one is anti histamine means histamines means history you can keep in your mind history means there is a prime minister uh, cpm party uh, uh, like that you can remember diphen history you are writing with the two pens so like that you can remember anti histamine it works against the histaminic receptors due to allergy also cough will come okay dry cough will come due to the allergy also that allergy is due to the histamine that we know very well so these uh, three things like a pm pro uh, promethazin like this see promethazin in short form uh, we are calling as a pm prime minister like the pm cpm next cpm this is also pm pm this is also matching cpm cpm party chlor pinaramin maleate it is a brand name is available cpm it is nothing but a cpm party like that you can remember diphen means two pens two pens we are writing a history anti histamine diphen hydramine see here diphen hydramine ammonium chloride sodium citrate like that uh, it comes next uh, we come to the wet cough okay right wet cough see wet cough mucus will come that mucus you have to cut it you have to cut the mucus so that it comes easily outside that is a uh, mucolytic cuts the mucus this is a mechanism of action cuts the mucus okay carbocystin acetyl cystin see here carbocystin tonics all the tonics are available acetyl cystin what these do what they do opens the disulfide bond this is also a number of times it was appeared in the mucus what happened there was a disulfide bonds are there in our mucus that mucus disulfide bonds will be cut by this carbocystin acetyl cystin cystin s is there double bonds like that you can remember sulfide bond okay mucolytic cystin it's just like a scissor cystin s c y okay cuts the bond it opens the disulfide bond that's why it decreases the mucus this is a one type of mechanism and another type of mechanism is a bromhexin hcl in the body this is metabolized into ambroxyl this is also number number of times it was appeared see here bro bro brother ambroxyl bromhexin hcl metabolized into ambroxyl see here bro bro this is also bro this is also bro like that you can match it bro bro Uh, this what this uh, acts as a lysosomal enzyme. It uh, cuts the mucus. So like this mucus will be there. Like this long chain will be there. It depolymerizes. So these two causes a depolymerization. Means cut down. So cuts the entire polymer chain. Okay. So mucus will be break down. So it easily comes out. <coughs> Next stimulants. This is the last one. Using for the wet cough. Stimulants. Uh, what it do? This is mechanical action here. It increases the mucus secretion. Excess mucus secretion, it will in the body, it will be produced, and it will be expelled outside automatically whenever mucus will come. So instead of suffering for a one week, within a two days, all the mucus will be come outside at a time. That's why this is called a stimulant because it stimulates the mucus secretion. It, it decreases the viscosity. See here, increases the mucus. decreases the viscosity whenever there was no viscosity viscosity is reduced just like watery fluid your mucus will become a watery fluid so that it comes easily outside okay this is mechanism of action ammonium chloride ac like that you can remember tb tolu balsam here you can see tolu balsam just like a tb patient is having a cough like that you can remember and guy 0.5 diphenson Guys are whenever guys are having a this problem, they are using a guy pension, ammonium chloride. Whenever you are in a AC, a tough may come like that. AC, ammonium chloride, sodium potassium citrate. Uh, here you can see ammonium chloride, uh, diphen hydramine. Okay, sodium citrate, ambroxyl. Uh, this is here guy pension. You can see guy pension, tolu balsam, guy pension, tolu balsam. Okay, ammonium. chloride all these names will come here so citrate citrate sodium citrate like that right okay so all these things you have to be read in a careful manner and very cautiously okay right so you can be download the app and just purchase the course whatever you want and start reading you can view even first year if you are a first year student uh, you can view the final year subjects also my notes so you download it and start reading at it okay don't worry uh, you have to because today full of competition is there if you want to tolerate that competition you have to read it